Well, here we are out in the middle of the swamp in all its glory. I did not realize I had a desert right here, so that's good to know. But tonight, I think we shall be doing some slime hunting. Now, I am going to build a slime farm in just a little bit, but I do want some heads first before we get started. And if you're new around here, hi, my name is Dee. I am a pretty new gamer and I make videos about learning things in games, particularly Minecraft. I've been hanging out here on the Vervain's Arcadia SMP and having a lot of fun. And if you enjoy watching people exist in chaos and confusion, do be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you'll be seeing quite a bit of it in this episode. <laughs> Hi, little baby slime. No head from that. Do we get any other slime spawning in the area? Oh, there are froggos over here. I have reset our despawn sphere so that we can see exactly what we have to work with. And, you know, it's not a lot, but I think it's enough. So we have materials for our farm right here. Not following any particular design or anything. However, slimes spawn in swamps between lev Y levels 50 and 70, and they spawn at a light level of 7. I think what we'll do is we'll actually set it up over in this side of things. Um, because I, I like the open water. But we do have a giant slime! Hello, buddy. Hi. Ouch, you hurt. Okay, there's lots of you. All right. Please tell me we get a head from this. Come on, guys. Come on. I deserve a head. I really need one of you as a pet, too. But, you know. Okay, so I've dug down a bit here. Let me tell you, there were some noises going on down there while I was digging, and between that and the lighting glitches I've been having, pretty sure it's haunted. I at least sorely miscalculate the amount of building materials that I need. Anyways, I have one layer here. I'm kind of thinking of doing basically a mirrored piece over in this spot, um, and then doing like four layers in each, and then having the killing chamber down the middle. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I went into this completely blind, and not necessarily blind, just I had no particular plan. We're running out of terracotta, and there's a mesa up north of us. It actually hasn't been explored, and I don't expect that anybody's going to be using it for anything. So we can essentially destroy it if we need to. But there's just a little bit of edge of it on an area that has been explored. So, hopefully it's decent size. It's currently all the wooded badlands. Let's hop over this way a little bit more and see if we can load in. Yeah, okay. And there we don't have to go digging through the, <laughs> through the dirt. I'm also going to go ahead and take some of these. Because I like using them for decoration. I think they're very cool. Well, I think we're gonna have to come out here with a haste 2 beacon at some point, but uh, I think we've got a decent amount for the moment. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a good village. You know, while we're out here exploring, aha, I think this may be it. There's this little flag on the map for the duper stash. <gasps> okay, this is cool. Okay, I love that they overgrow. I wonder if the hobbit hole is one of these overgrown ones. Anyways, here we are. That's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from here, and I haven't actually checked it out yet. So, I'm glad I got to do that. Alrighty, we need to throw some yellow terracotta right into furnaces. Okay. I have finished the slime form and been AFK here for like 10 hours on accident. Uh, let's see how that went. So this is how it looks. And 
you can hear, we've got slimes in there. You can also see that we have some slime balls sitting and they're not all getting picked up. All right, let's go, let's go see what's going on. If we come right down in here, this is our little, little spot. Now we have a bed here. Oh golly, uh, yeah. We've got slime balls. Oh gosh. What about our witch farm? How's that? Also overflowing. Great! Okay, well that's awesome. And I stocked up from my witch farm uh, yesterday too. I restocked all of my uh, all of my back stock. Oh, we do have a dead iron golem it looks like. That is the one flaw with how I set this up is that they can reach the iron golems. Oh, poor buddy. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Your friend's gone. But honestly, don't even have to worry about it right now. Now, something happened the other day. Amy came and grabbed us to show us her new shop, which buys trash back from people on the server. And while I was showing her that I'd been doing some digging lately, and look, we sure have been doing some digging, 43 blocks of diamonds. And she happened to see my uh, other side music disc and made a jukebox, and then we started having a little grand opening party there, and well, things got a bit wild. We do have some greens though, you want to get some greens? This one's made, this one will make you feel very lightheaded all of a sudden. <laughs> the, the, the potion of water. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, yeah. It'll make you, it'll make you believe that I... everyone is invisible. <laughs> oh hey, it seems like everybody's invisible. <laughs> so I can give them to Pearl again. There you go Pearl, get some flowers. And well, now we have a mini game to set up that came from all these shenanigans. And the last thing I need in order to be ready to go set this up is the head of my evil witch twin. I should definitely set my spawn. Here it comes. How? How? It should be able to shoot straight up, right? I'm trying guys, I promise. We're gonna try another route. Let's see if we can stand right on top of it and get blown up that way. Yes, we did it! There we go, there is a beautiful herbalist head. <laughs> this is the new shop of Amy's. And you come in, you'll take trash bags, and when they're full, you put them here and they get emptied and you receive two diamonds and it is expanding to include uh basically an a trash exchange we're gonna go up go ahead and set up a very little stand right here okay here are our instructions Oh no, the local witch's evil twin has scattered her evil witch powder all over the shopping district after the party at Diamond Disposables. Please help clean up the shopping district by picking it up and returning it to the stand behind Enchanting Grounds. There are two stacks of evil witch powder scattered around the shopping district. Please pick up the item frames, return items to the barrel behind Enchanting Grounds, or hang on to them, your choice, and write how many you found in the book. The person who finds the most will receive five diamond blocks, and the second place prize will be magical lights to help drive the evil away. And then we have an example for how to enter it. And we will stack that there, and before we... We'll copy this text over to the Discord as well, but before we do that, we should go ahead and finish distributing the evil witch powder around the shopping district. So I realized I never like fully explained where the evil witch powder came from. So I, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago on the server, I was asking, you know, what people would do with a large amount of sugar, which I have from our witch farm. 
and uh, we were talking about it, making lots of jokes and things, and then I realized, and then I thought about how, like, uh, it seems like every week or so I find out about another benign, funny cult that has been formed on the server at some point or another. And I was like, you know what would be funny is if I turned my excess of sugar into a weird cult on the server. So when the party happened yesterday, I took the opportunity to uh, make some evil witch powder. And uh, the rest is history. So big shout out and thank you to Amy for the idea of turning it into a mini game. And I'm really excited to see where this all goes. Now this is a friendly reminder that this is an adult server and we are okay with these kinds of jokes. Only try this at home if it is appropriate in your situation. Okay, the countdown for the uh, evil witch powder is is in its last stages. There are apparently 10 left in the shopping district an hour after I opened the game. Okay, we are back in the shopping district. And um, the participants have expressed a desire to split the prize and help me set it up again for other people to, oh, good heavens. Uh, yeah, but they, they want to help set it up for more people to be able to do this. And Wes had a, an idea for maybe making it a little bit easier for the next group of people to have a little bit more of a spread out time to work on things. Okay, and with that, we have a much better game mechanic for this. So there are evil witch powders hidden in droppers around the shopping district, and they're numbered. So you'll have to fill a shulker box with them, and you'll have to submit them in the barrels after renaming them to your name, and then also enter your name in order in the book. And we have prizes for everybody. Pearl donated beacons for the top three prizes, and then they'll tear down from there. Diamond blocks and then frog lights. You guys, I'm just now collecting uh, materials for some building which is going to be the farm area buildings that I've been promising for like seven episodes. But I was planting some of the like giant trees over here. And well, I realized that I've got a little uh, friend over in here. And so that prompted me to go over and check the biome of what these icebergs are. And you can see that like, uh, here I'm Taiga, here I'm Frozen Ocean. So that's really cool. I love the little icebergs all around. I think I want to build a tree farm for like the double big trees. I want to build an Etho style one. Etho was my very first like exposure to Minecraft. Well, I knew, I knew Minecraft existed and all that. Why is there a creeper right there? Rude. Anyways, we've got some wool. And it is time to mark out the building for this thing here. Got some free cam. All right. And this will help us look at the layout of our house. Okay. Lots of unusual little shapes, but honestly, that's awesome. And we will work with that. And here we see a wild D in her newest natural element. <laughs> uh, I ended up uh, using crimson logs for the wool for the roof of our moss farm. So I've got a bunch that I need to get. We are off to see a shulka farm. Copper apparently has a very fast and efficient shulker farm. And so I am excited to get to see it because I would like to build a shulker farm in the nearish future. This okay. is a shulker farm. <laughs> My gosh. It's mildly terrifying. Basically, Is... shulkers duplicate when they hit themselves. Uh huh. So I have them cramming inside a little chamber. They all end up going in together. So okay. After they go over the entity cram limit, they start dying. Just for too many in one spot. Gotcha, gotcha. And they shoot. They shoot their shots down at it. There's a snow golem down in the middle. 
Okay. And it can't reach the snow golem, so it ends up hitting a shulker that's in the way. Mm -hmm. And that causes the duplication. And then shulkers will only teleport up on scaffold. Mm -hmm. So then it forces them to go where I want. Gotcha. Okay. That's that's what I was curious about with like shulker farms. I didn't and I never got I never got the memo on how the pathfinding worked with scaffolding. Yeah, so they can't teleport to like the sides of scaffolding or the bottom. Yeah, okay. Yep, down here. <laughs> Ended up too high. <laughs> oh so, my like, word. These are shulker loaders, so like okay. this makes a hundred thousand emeralds an hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you need like a lot of a lot of shulker shells. Yeah. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah, this is oh. the entrance to my place. Down here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nothing's decorated, and if you don't have a mod for light, you will be hard to see, okay? I <laughs> okay. just haven't got around to decorate. This is going to be the storage for the Guardian Farm. Okay. So, the Guardian Farm sends the Guardians to the nether. They die there. The items okay. get shot along into this portal on the other side, and they come out here. Yeah, this is an absolute nightmare to build. Uh, like yeah. A... So yeah, the guardians are going to die when they fall down there, and then they get shot into the portal that leads to my base. Die. Okay. But just give me a sec, I'll go load it. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> oh my goodness. Actually, the server's handling it okay. Yeah, this is, this is impressive, like... Dang. I actually gotta stop it though because there's nowhere yep. for the items to go, so they're gonna start building up. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else really though around here of excitement. <laughs> well, I... I have a tunnel bore. I am sure you've seen one of those before. I mean, I've seen Doc's version, but I've not I seen one IRL. I like to show you, it's a bit of a track. It's 700 blocks this way. I mean, I need to go back that way, anyways. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I, I ran out of <laughs> I ran, ran out, out of rockets. rockets yep. Right. Poor planning on my part. Oh no, I, I have I have plenty. I have plenty. Thank you. Right, okay. <laughs> I just have them in a shulker box, not in my hand. <laughs> I don't think you see Doc is running with the with the wardens behind, which is really good. Mm -hmm. I it stops the spawn. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is my one. It's the only thing yeah. that's hard when you build these is getting the netherite. Oh gosh. Uh, or for the tips. Yeah. If you want to hit that note block over there once. <laughs> only once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As we've all learned recently. <laughs> that's um, how I was getting my diamonds. Thank you so much I... for showing me around. No problem. Anytime. Bye bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm beaming IRL. Like I told Copper, like I've never gotten to see huge farms like that IRL. Well, it's not in real life, but like I'm at least in person in the game going to it. You know? Ah, oh, that was so cool. And I, I love, I love learning about the mechanics, and I just. So much fun. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I've still got some building to do here. So I'm gonna get to it and I will bring you guys back. Yeah, I love the flowers too. Yeah, uh, they're based off of uh bead art in in uh yeah, native native bead art. My sister had a pair of fur slippers that had uh roses on them, and I was like I, I want to put that on, like, the side of a building. So that's that's where that came from. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody uh, signed the book on accident, I suppose? Okay. Do we need any more shulkers? Nope. Okay. Jay and Sean. Awesome sauce. Well, that means all the diamond blocks are accounted for. Also, explain. Uh... Wait, no, not my summoning, not my fang summoning circle. Fang, fang has been sick and uh, a lot, and 
busy with exams and stuff. So yeah. this is my summoning circle to get her back. We have sacrificed the Amy. Cat has your head. Please, please, please. Okay. Well, as we are cleaning up the mess of the evil witch in the shopping district, I thought it would be a good time to uh, take care of the creatures in our care and just make sure that we're being an extra good person and maybe put some of the evil witch behind us. In fact, I thought I might even change my face so that she can no longer masquerade as my twin. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you think of the, the face change in the comments. I struggle with liking eyes in Minecraft skins. So, I thought I'd try these out. This habitat is the first of several that will be kind of along this shoreline and the other shoreline on the other side. Hello, my little Alay friends. Hi. But yeah, here, let me put the leads on you for now, just so we can get through the portal. But I have such a lovely place for you. Oh, we had one go through already. How wonderful. Oh, you are going to be a little trouble butt, aren't ya? There we go. Come on, bud. Yeah, there we go. This is one of my favorite places at my base. It is my geothermal farming area, and I love just coming and hanging out here with the bees and the hot springs. It's a great time. But we have to go a little farther. Now, I have such a pretty little place for you, and it's so happy, and it's built into the side of a hill, so it's got an amethyst. And I'll come and take you guys on adventures every once in a while, and it's going to be great. Alright, so let's start the music disc again. And now let's actually give them shards. Ah! There we go! That's duplication! There we go! Ah! We have a laze! And we have a little dance station. We'll have to make like a little happy party place over here sometime. Besides music and amethyst, what might our little LA friends need? I'm kind of thinking maybe some flowers around might look nice. Alrighty, we'll find a better, like, access system. We'll build our parrot enclosure next door. There's going to be lots of cool things coming in this area, and I am excited for them. Now, before we head into our next phase of prettifying the base and building things and all those things... I need to cut down a forest. Maybe I do deserve an evil witch twin ruining my reputation around here. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work tearing this forest down. Don't worry, we'll be building it back up. Just differently. Well, this was a bit of a crazy episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed especially all the technical talk and uh, the evil witch shenanigans and accidentally building a little bit of a questionable substances empire it's okay it's all turning out to be okay and under control and we'll come back in in the next episode and distribute prizes and do some more cool things i'll see you in the next one bye